suddenly there was a kind of stamping foot like that and it was Janice Dickinson who'd walked out in a sort of unbelievable sort of drop dead number completely tailored coat totally fitting unlike anything anyone had seen and she was saying oi you know pay attention we're starting well there was no music and what was fabulous is that he'd got the kind of incredible models of the day um, sort of Iman, Julie Wolf, Janice Dickinson, Deirdre Maguire, the girls that never came to Paris to do the shows. I mean, they really didn't come to Paris to do the shows. Maybe, you know, they would do the odd couture show if they were flown over, but they basically stayed in New York. And suddenly, this stream of girls that we were always sort of begging to get for shoots came past our eyes wearing clothes that you couldn't believe. And it was a wonderful moment because it was a moment in fashion when, apart from the Japanese who'd come in the kind of early 80s, and change the look of fashion, but in a very sort of rather a niche kind of area, there'd be nothing incredibly interesting really for quite a few years. It, it had been a you know, power dressing, fairly vulgar, not very interesting, nothing had happened, and suddenly there was something of, of, of sort of um, European fashion, Western fashion, that was totally new. And it was totally new because of the cut. And because of the cut, it gave the girls an incredible sort of stature and presence. And they walked up and down this apartment between the chairs in spaces, you know, narrow corridors, um, to no music, in heels like this.